Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. I get a lot of questions in the comments about how I create the road signs that you see in the videos, so I'm going to give a quick rundown of the process. Now nearly seven years into this I've already created just about every road sign we're likely to encounter on our trips, and I keep them in a toolbox file so I can just pull them up, change the highway number, and insert them into a template. If we branch out into a new state I can create the state highway shield for that state pretty quickly and add it to the toolbox. But I'm going to take one of the more complicated highway shields, and that's Louisiana, since it has the outline of the state. Now I did this in a hurry, and I wasn't all that detailed, but this will give you the basic idea. This is done by taking a picture of a sign and tracing it and creating a vector image, so it can be modified later if necessary, and so that the numbers can be changed easily. The vector image can be enlarged to any size without losing any detail. So in this case, I'm just going to start with this shot of a Louisiana highway shield from Street View. Take a screen capture of it and then paste it into Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to crop out everything but the sign and then use the distort transformation to make it square since the picture wasn't taken from dead on in front of the sign. I also should change the aspect ratio to make it perfectly square since that's how the actual signs are, but since this is for illustrative purposes it doesn't really matter. I already have a Louisiana highway shield that I use in the videos. Once we had the picture ready to trace, I imported it into CorelDRAW, match up the font with the numbers on the sign, in this case the letters, since it has that LA at the top. Typing in the numbers is strictly to get the font and the sizing right, as they're going to be different on every sign. Every state in the US uses the FHWA font, which is duplicated in the Highway Gothic font that I have, except for those states that use the god-awful Clearview font, but I typically use FHWA anyway. Now I'm going to use the Bezier tool to outline the state. This takes a little bit of time and attention to detail, but I'm going to rush through this since this particular sign isn't going to be used in any videos, and I know some of you watching are already getting bored. I'm just clicking on points to draw a rough outline rather than trying to make smooth curves. The image from Street View is pretty low resolution, so I can't get super detailed with it anyway. I typically use a photograph of a sign that I've taken or pull a higher resolution capture out of one of my own videos when I cover a new state. Once the trace is done, I just fill it in with the appropriate color, put that illustration on the correct layer, and then draw the background, usually a square or rectangle, and round the corners. And that's all there is to it. Here you can see the template that I used to put the route being driven onto the screen. The directional arrow is already there and a place to type in the name of the street. This is in multiple layers so if I want to indicate a turn I just bring the appropriate arrow up to the top. The toolbox is at the bottom and I pull the highway shield that I've already created from there and drop it into the template. Type in the direction and the numbers and street name if there is one and export it to a transparent PNG. Then all I have to do is lay that file over the video and it fills the entire screen, placing the content in the exact same place every time. Hopefully this answered all of your questions. If not, post a comment and I'll try to give you an answer. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, be sure to hit the subscribe button and share our videos, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.